Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is day 60 of Daily CGI. Uh, hope you're all doing well. Uh, so I'm going to show you this uh, project that I completed tonight in Blender. Um, I tried a couple of different things, some that were beyond my skill set at this point, so I had to kind of throw into the trash heap for the time being, but this one was alright. This was a Coca-Cola style bottle, um, glass bottle that is, and with the Coca-Cola branding etched into the side of it kind of embossed. Um, expanding on the technique that I learned the other day, um, I applied a displace modifier previously to a 2D plane and used that um, to be able to create the embossed look. This time I used the displace uh, displacement node in the shading editor and um, came up with a pretty similar result but on a more complicated object. And so... Yeah, that's what I did. It's currently bump only because it would be eating the system resources, meaning that this this video probably wouldn't film properly. Uh, but I'll show you the final output with some nicer, shinier um, images. I think that I made the distance between the inside of the bottle and the outside of the bottle, like the thickness, uh, maybe a little too thick and it's evident, but... Um, you get what I'm going for anyway. Now, just before I show you that, I, I will speak... I'll put my two cents in, right? I found myself um, getting too invested in the topic of artificial intelligence um, in the context of modern day animation. And um, I really had to check myself. I wasn't leaving troll comments or anything, but I found myself getting heated and I could see I might come across as, I don't know, not confrontational, but yeah. Too invested, too invested in it. And, um, you know, I have no skin in the game when it comes to the topic. It's like, I'm not in the industry. I'm just learning some of this basic stuff as a hobbyist because uh, I'm interested in it and I, I think I'm pretty passionate about it. But, um, yeah, essentially what's happened is this uh, Corridor Crew YouTube channel have, um, who I've been watching for the past couple of years, great content, by the way, um, they put out like a animated, an animated short, like a short in the style of anime. Um, it's essentially like similar to rotoscoping, but they used artificial intelligence in their workflow to um, maybe enhance it or speed up the process, that kind of thing. And um, all of a sudden, everyone's arguing about it online, in particularly Twitter. So these algorithms will be the death of me. They push you in the direction of conflict, and they show you just what they think you want to uh, would need to see to be able to cause you to engage and therefore make them more money through advertising revenue. So um, I guess I fall victim to this um, every now and then as well. I'm not immune to it. So anyway, the long and the short of it is that I don't like the way that uh, Corridor Crew talk about animation. Um, they say it as if it's a dirty word. Um, they say it as if it's a complete chore to learn and a complete hassle um, that just needs to be eradicated, you know, through the use of AI. And, uh, I don't know, everyone has their opinions and everyone is allowed to have a different opinion. Um, but, yeah, it's the fact that across the course of three or four videos, the way that they talk about animation being such a chore, when you see them learning so many other, um, so many other things, like whether it be CG, and they're a visual effects studio, essentially, so they um, specialize in um, visual effects, CG. Um, some of them have learned Unreal Engine recently over the past year or two, and uh, they're willing to learn all that, but they draw the line at animation, and uh, I don't know. I think they put out these videos knowing that it's a controversial topic, because look at the number of views and comments that these videos are garnering at this point in time. And uh, I think they're probably making bank on it, you know? I'm not going to stop watching Corridor or anything. They're entitled to do what they do. Um, it's interesting from an experimental standpoint. And no, I don't think their rotoscoping technique is going to completely change up or shake an industry at this point in time. Um, who knows where a AI goes in the future? <laughs> I don't know. I just think it it's fair to see... Everyone has different opinions on both both sides of the coin and every opinion in between. And uh, one way or the other, we shouldn't be too harsh uh, towards each other, I think. And anime is, uh, no, animation isn't a dirty word. <laughs> uh, I totally respect the, even the old school animation, like people who do it by hand on paper, you know. You got to respect and remember the roots of a particular industry, even if you don't use those techniques uh, in the same way to this day. Um, that's my little rant for the day. 
I'm going to stay out of it from now on, I think, um, since I got too invested. But yeah, I'll show you the output for my uh, Coca-Cola can really quickly. Uh, Coca-Cola bottle, that is. Let's see. Yep, so this is the first one. This was with the actual uh, displacement, if you can make that out. I'm sure, as always, there's probably flaws with this one being the thickness, but yeah, there it is from the side. There it is with like a HDRI accidentally visible in the background. Um, the text uh, the text is a bit squished. That's just the way that I did the UV unwrapping and the texturing. So there is stuff that should be improved. I think, is that displacement as well? Yeah, that's displacement. And then this one was the bump mapping, uh, which makes it look a little bit different overall, but you know. That's my effort for the night. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, have a good one, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.